All right, good morning, good evening, good night, or whenever you guys are watching this video. I'm gonna just walk walk you through uh, my credit report and express to you guys, especially uh, the millenniums, the young people, how important credit is. You know, I'm, I've been dealing with credit for a long time and I've screwed myself really bad. So I've been working on my credit really, really hard for the last two years. And I'm going to show you what should be done and what I'm doing now and how I increase my credit score. One um, website that is very, very, very good is Credit Karma. So I'm going to log on to you and just uh, walk you through my credit report and what I did and what you need to do to improve your credit score. And your credit is good for your jobs, for even opening up an, a brokerage account which I'm expressing to my kids about stock markets and stuff. And they look at your credit, buying a house, uh, everything. So I'm going to log in to your own credit karma. And as you can see, my score right here, TransUnion is 783. That's pretty good. They say it's excellent. I've been trying to get it up to 800 and something, but that's tough. But let's click on this right here. And Credit Karma, if anybody log on to your account or anybody request anything, inquiries, they will send you a message, a text message or anything. But let's just walk through this. As you can see and set, see how my score is going up and down. And I'm going to show you what affects that a lot. As we looking through here, the, my credit history, you see it's green up here. They show you the different levels. You can click on it on this credit history. And you see I had two late payments. That was a couple of years ago. But if you scroll down, it was probably right here. It's showing uh, Provident Funding. But like I said, it's been a couple of years ago, but that stays on your credit. It follows you. You can dispute it and different things like that. But this is right here. It gives you like, you remember, mine was showing green, which is a uh, 99% let's see let me go back but on your app on your phone it'll say hey i i think mine was like 200 payments and i had two uh, late payments out of 200 payments so what so what they do they take the two divided by 200 which comes up to that 99 percent right there so we'll look at my credit cards and this is uh very important right here i got 21 percent usage on my credit report so if i click on that and it says i got a credit line of twenty thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars so that's what all my credit cards combined and i've have used four thousand three hundred and forty dollars which is 21 percent so 21 percent is leaving me in this range which is good but you want your range between zero and nine percent that'll increase your credit score right here once you start getting in a 30 40 percent usage that's getting bad I and mean, if you over 50 percent or over that's a big it has a big negative uh impact on your credit so try to keep it at nine percent or under nine percent especially if you're getting ready to make investments or you're getting ready to buy a house start paying these credit cards down don't use them you want to keep a small balance on them because if you don't and you have no usage on them they will shut your account down and you don't want that they'll close your account and you don't want that and i'm gonna show you why credit age <laughs> mine's right here say three years two months and really i've had credit for the last 30 35 years but i didn't know what i was doing some of them i closed the account i called them and closed them transferring uh credit cards to other accounts and that's not good. You want to keep accounts open. Uh, as you can see, mine is red because I'm in the two to three years. So you want to start really getting good when you have between seven, uh, up above seven years of credit history, which I know I've had 30 something years, but I've closed some accounts and I've had some problems with credit before. So like I told you in the last couple of years, I've been really watching my credit really good so this right here after nine years of credit that's what you want so if you get a credit card and you transfer it 
over into another credit card. Don't close it. Just leave it open and use it once in a while, maybe once every couple of months. If you want to buy a bag of chips or soda or something, just use it to keep a little balance on it. And we went to uh, the credit age. Now, the total number of credit uh, accounts, a total number of accounts I got is 16. That's a lot of accounts. It seems like a lot, you know, 16. I may have four credit cards and then you got a car and house and you have other credits. Let's click on mines and look here. As you see right here, I have 16. So mine's green. I'm in a good. If you get, I need at least 21 plus to bring my score up. So that's very important. OK, so you want to get uh, about 21 accounts. I got one at Best Buy, Macy's, Lowe's. Before, I used to have a lot of them, like from K's Jewelry, but I closed all those. Like I said in the past, I didn't know better. I should have kept them open and maybe use them once in a while. And then we're going to go to the hard inquiries. This right here, I got 11. And I'm, the reason why I got 11 of those, when I bought my truck, for some reason, they ran my credit and they ran it through like six different companies. And I asked them not to do that. And they did it anyway. So they ran it through six different companies. I'm going to dispute those and have them re removed anyway. You know, so those inquiries, it has a big impact on there. So like I have 11, so I'm way over. You want between one and two, because if they see you requesting a lot or credit, they're trying to figure out why is that person requesting all of these credits or credit cards or and the reason why I was doing it, I'm, I'm trying to get my credit. I'm trying to get credit history. And another thing what I did, and I did that this morning, all of my credit cards, I added my wife and my son and my daughters to them to increase their credit scores. You know, I'm, t I'm like my son, he's 21. My daughter is 27. And I add them as authorized users, like on my Macy's and uh, on my academy best buy my credit cards chase capital one all the loans i got i added them to it so this will increase their credit scores in their history just as long as i keep my credit um right their credits will go up so any um parents out there add your kids to your credit cards or your loans especially if you pan them on time and keeping credit that to give them credit history by the time they get maybe 30 they will have 10 years of credit history so this is uh how you watch your credit use a uh, credit karma is very good you know i mean it explains different things to you and the app is even better than this desktop it tells you a lot of different stuff you're gonna tells you what you need to do so as you can see, my credit cards on certain, all of them are paid off except these right here. And I'm going to get those paid off pretty soon and drop that under. But keep a good watch on your credit, especially you younger people, because this, this is a big impact. Like I got my Toyota Tundra. I paid a 0% interest on it this year in 2020. That saved me probably five or $600 a month with a 0% because I've been working on my credit. Like I said, in the past, I did have some stuff I didn't know better. I was closing accounts, transferring stuff. My credit history is only three years old, which, you know, I've had credit for longer than that. But it's only three years old because I was having stuff closed and open. Like I applied for a credit card today at Bank of America. I just clicked it on uh, in five I think 10 seconds, they looked at my credit score and they gave me $13,000. I'm not going to use it, but what it would do, this number right here. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 4,340 divided by 33,950 equals, that's 12%. So that'll put me at a 12% right there once this Bank of America be, and it probably be added on there in the next couple of days. So I would be at a 12%. So I would still need to pay these down a little bit to get it under 9%. And the reason I'm doing all of this and getting my credit straight, cause me and my wife, we're gonna end up selling this house and we're gonna get us another house. So it probably in the next six months. So I'm trying to get my credit score up 
to about 800. My credit score has never been 800. So I'm trying to get this up to 800. So when I add that Bank of America that I got 13,000 and I pay those other credit cards down and I'm also dispute those inquiries that I have um, on my credit report, like these inquiries right here. So this right here, it may not go to red, uh, green, but it'll go to yellow because I have to have between one and two inquiries to get it to green. And my credit history, it ain't nothing much I could do about that right now, the length of my credit, because um, like I said in the past, I messed it up and a lot of stuff has been deleted and disputed. For the last three years, this is my credit history. So if I click on that, I have to be between seven years. So another four years, uh, my credit score, if I keep doing what I'm doing and my health is good and if it's God will, it would be at the max 800. I don't know what the max, I think it's 850, you know, but that probably be another four or five years when I get more credit history. So if this video helps subscribe to my channel and thank you and have a great day and add your kids to your credit so that they don't have to wait 10 years to get excellent credit. All right. Thank you and have a great day.